In the wireless world, service is provided by hundreds of thousands of large outdoor towers called macro cells. Macro cells utilize RF, or radio frequencies, to cover approximately a three mile geographic area that facilitates all wireless activities in that space. Today, 70% of the United States is covered by macro cells. Highly populated areas such as Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, and Dallas, macro cells have become overwhelmed with wireless broadband users. In an effort to provide a solution, the industry is working to create new frequency spectrums, improving spectral efficiency like 3G, 4G, and LTE, and deploying small cell technology at an ever-increasing pace. So what is small cell technology? Small cell technology is a functioning radio frequency cell that handles the RF traffic at a specific local venue or location. Small cells operate within and under the macro cell network footprint. Small cells function to reduce dead zones and manage traffic loads, which ultimately improve coverage for wireless users. According to ABI research, approximately 290,000 small cells exist today. By 2019, experts estimate that the number of small cells will reach 4 million. The small cell marketplace consists of many small cells. The last two, ODAS and IDAS, are considered to be the most popular types of small cells. DAS systems range in power from 20 to 40 watts, which function to facilitate greater coverage. As a result, DAS can handle large venues where demand is high or DAS can be designed to handle fluctuating demands at times because of major events. DAS alone is expected to reduce macro cell traffic by 12% in the next two to three years. Superior Essex is continuing to offer RF feeder coax cables for macro cells while expanding our DAS cables and accessories to meet the needs for small cell technology deployment.